Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me! I think you've got other people who'll listen to you! Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind! I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense. So I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y yuri But how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abducted! Oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lowell, and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch! Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? Hey! 
Get your hands off me! But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking! Walk, I say! Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedalay? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... Decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dondrist. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Ker Bakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do? Oh, 
so both of you are here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the Imperial Throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the Imperial Knights, and that of the Council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelise has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's gotta be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliza's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. Wait, Wait I you? say! Hey, it's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide. Yuri Lowell, you will battle with us here, I say, fair and square. If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. They'll make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! Kiss your freedom goodbye, or it ends today! I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting technique! The first start! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the Knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you! But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Ah! I say... Ah! Maybe it has something to do with over limit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, take this! You're dead! Divine Wolf! That's enough for today. First Art! I say, what a terrible turn of events! No good! That was easy. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn.
thought you went to Siestales. She must have been exhausted today. I didn't want to wake her up. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a meat hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. And two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. Barrier Blastia has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. Do you even hear what you're saying? 
You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Yeah. Come on, we're going to. You can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Estelise. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing arts so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerr Bakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or... Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? Huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's alright. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... what do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... but how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here. What's going on? Huh? Ah! What was that thing? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. 
I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then! seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations, and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider their connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um... Then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right then! It's the Forest of Cave Mock by way of Dongrest! I have a job for you. I think that scary monster we saw in Kerr Bakram was. That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. 
Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again. My hometown! Looks like a pretty lively place.
Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah! Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, how should we go about tracking down Barbos? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union? A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah. The Union also serves as the city's government. But how is this gonna work? Isn't Barbos's Blood Alliance one of the five Master Guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altos, the most powerful of the five Master Guilds. All right, let's go see what the Dawn has to say then. You know the way, right, Carol? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town. coming back here hey what's with you yeah I don't see Nan she already did you <laughs> no way she wouldn't stop nagging so I took off this would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist so are you the latest guild to take him in you could do a lot better than that loser all this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined oh right that's a bad thing are these your friends Carol we can do a lot better than these losers. What did you say? Such undignified men! Shut up! You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... Yeah, you just keep talking. What's that sound? Damn it! They're back again! Come on! The alarm! Monsters are here! Monsters? Wait, is this shaking the monster's footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong, and it's never been broken before. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh, crap! Th the barrier... disappeared? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it, why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters.
crazy. Where are all these monsters coming from? Something isn't right. Doesn't something seem different about the monsters as well? Here they come. Let's eliminate them. Don't let up. There's more coming. Why are there so many? I feel power running all through my body. Damn it! It's just one right after the other! Uh, I'm gonna do it! to these things. failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let you fix the barrier! What the hell? It's just one thing after another. I'm sick of this! Quickly! Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. 
So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the barrier blast here going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the? This is an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Emmeed Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city! Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongrath, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding! The city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. Hmm? Who are you all? We need to talk to the Don about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the five master guilds. I haven't seen you around here recently. What guild do you belong to? We don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Don has left town in pursuit of the monsters. He went after the monsters? Yes. He plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Dawn. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle is going along with you? Yes. I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the Forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. Come to think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn Grest? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's alright? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, you're gonna make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right.
had no idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful! There's somebody here. Hey, what a coincidence! What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, uh, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. What about the person who controls the Union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don, but that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words. We'll just leave it at that then. Man, could you be any weaker? Let me at him! Alright, who's next? Yeah, easy win! Piece of cake! Don't let him trip you up! Just that was easy. I feel like an easy win. Don't get cocky. A cornered cat becomes a lion. Or so they say. That's the logical outcome. Oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you! Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? No! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny anymore. Should be any minute now. Ah! It exploded from the inside. What did you do? It just wait for him to let their guard down, give him a little poke, and then bam! Jeez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. All right. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. Okay, I just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right. 
I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll. Take it in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. That was a pretty strong monster, but I guess we're done. I guess we're done? Come on! We just defeated that gigantic monster! Calm down, Carol. Pull yourself together. Come on, Yuri! You could at least be a little bit happy! Huh? What's the matter, Estelle? Why are you sitting? How can both of you take it so easily? What? Did you get scared, Estelle? That huge monster! I was so nervous! I... I... You were doing just fine while we were fighting. But if I got like this during battle, I'd end up causing trouble for everybody. Don't worry about it, Estelle. Here, let me give you a hand. I... I'm sorry. There we go. Now, who do we get to fight next? 
bring them on, right? I'd rather have nobody be next. Huh? Hey, Yuri. You're really ready for another fight, aren't you? Carol, when you freak out, you really freak out. Come on, everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage. It's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? Yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! This? No, this isn't scary! Your legs are shaking. You're kidding! Yeah, I am. Oh man. Alright, alright. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. This looks easy. Don't get careless. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. I just keep getting stronger! Easy? I don't know, I didn't feel much of anything. I wanted a little more action, you know? Oh, you're a fan of getting beaten to a pulp while struggling to beat some crazed giant monster? Ah, uh, don't put it like that, old man. It's not struggling, it's fun. So much fun. The best part about a battle is its raw challenge. It's raw challenge, huh? I kind of like the way that sounds. Ah, uh, sorry, but I prefer to avoid the hard-fought battles. They're rough on these old bones. That makes it even more fun. How's that? That's for you to find out, old man. Don't get sloppy. Destroy your spider web. All right, Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Oh, I feel so powerful! That's the logical outcome! Hey, did any of you just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey! 
I've heard that voice before. Patty? What? Is she a friend of yours? We've got to help her! Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. He hit it! Yeah? So you're still looking for Eifried's treasure? Eifried? Ay! Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The map making guild! World Seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's 100% believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're a hundred percent fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Hide it behind you. I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. That's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going.
It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. This is the same phenomenon we saw at Heliord. The air is weaker than it was there, but there's no mistaking it. The monster looks just like the ones that attacked Dongrest. Here it comes. Is the air causing this? This must be why the town kept getting attacked by monsters. Is there any way to quiet the monsters? We have to get them before they get us. We might not make it back alive. I hope we only have to kill this one. Stay sharp. We'll lose our lives if we aren't ca careful. Now the town's safe. You can't relax yet. The air is still out of control. I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful. I just keep getting stronger. That's the logical outcome. The trees, the monsters. It's got to be the air that's causing this. There's more of them! Ah, so this is the end, huh? Farewell, all my dear fans the world over. I'll make sure your gravestone reads, Here lies the world's biggest sap. You're supposed to say stuff like, We can make it through this together. do that back there you like slice through the air but but that's impossible what good would that knowledge do you well I mean with something like that we might be able to stop the blastia from going berserk we saw that happen to a blastia the air was out of control we couldn't do anything this was only a distortion it is a natural occurrence distortion Um, thank you so much for helping us. Do not go near the Air Krenne. Huh? What do you mean, Air Krenne? This place? Air Krenne are the springs from which all air in the world comes. Springs of air? Who are you? This isn't the kind of place you just go for a walk. Hm. We would have been dead without your help, though. Thanks. Power. Could it be the Rizomata formula? I can't tell anything from checking things out here. I have to see some others. Hey, didn't that guy earlier say these were all over the world? Yeah, he did. We won't know anything solid until we find them and study them. So, I guess we're finished looking into things here? Yeah, let's get back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn.
Anomalous air conditions result in Blastia going out of control, which in turn leads to monsters turning vicious. If this is related to the distortion he was talking about, then it might not be only this forest that's affected. You sure mumble to yourself a lot, don't you? Uh, what? Another monster attack? Keep your head down! It's... it's them! Dawn! You all do something? Do something? What do you mean? Those savage monsters turned docile as pups and ran off! What did you do? Yuri! It must be because we stopped the flow of the air. The monsters turned tame because we stopped the runaway air! Runaway air? Hmm... Hey, old man. Do you know something? Well, my old friend Bellius used to say something about it. So it's true that Don and Bellius are friends. Who is Bellius? The Duce, who rules the Colosseum of Nordopolica. Nordopolica? And what's with that runaway air? It was really amazing! More and more really strong monsters kept on coming, but we... Boy, those are the sorts of things you keep to yourself. What? You don't do deeds like that so other people will notice. You do them so that you can protect your town and your friends. I'm... I'm sorry. Excuse me, could I see him for a moment? What? Oh, you can use healing arts. Thank you. Mm, ain't that Raven over there? Quit hiding, you! <laughs> Our man ain't giving you trouble, is he? What do you mean, trouble? The reason the monsters got tame was our doing. Mine especially. Huh? Raven's a member of Altosk? Somehow, that seems to be the case. Ouch, Gramps! Cut that out! Shut up, you! Don Whitehorse. What is it? I know we've only just met, but I have something I need to talk to you about. Quite the strapping young lad, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Yuri, eh? So you must be the leader here. Uh, excuse me, Gramps. Anybody home? Uh, there ain't been too many lively youngsters around here lately. So I've grown bored. I'll listen to you, but in exchange, you gotta indulge me for a bit. Jeez, what a time for that old geezer's bad habit. What are you talking about? Whenever he finds someone who shows a little backbone, he just has to test them. Test? Test what? Their strength, of course. Exactly. Now, come and indulge an old man in his innocent hobby. No, 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 no. You can count me out. Hey, he just took off! All right, an opportunity to face the head of a guild isn't the kind of thing that comes along every day. <laughs> That's the spirit! Show me what you got! If you're so old, then retire and drink tea in peace. Sorry, but that's really not my stuff. You're an interesting lad. Are you some kind of monster, old man? I feel power running all through my body. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Well, that's enough. After all, if we keep this up, this is gonna turn into a real battle. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. All right, I'll hear you out now. Don, sorry to interrupt. Ah, uh, I see. All right, you dogs. Time to head out. Sorry about this, but something's come up. We gotta return to Dongrest. 
If you come by the Union, you'll have my ear first chance I get. Hope that's okay. If I have your word, that's fine by me. Hmm. You're not nervous at all to talk to me. You all would make a good addition to our guild. I was giving him everything I got in that fight, though. Hmm, a guild, huh? We're gonna make one, right? We'll see. So, what do you think? You all finally get a taste of how awesome I am? I sure didn't notice you being too awesome out there. Always so quick to criticize. All right, I'd like to go back to Dongress to meet with the Dawn and keep looking for Barbos. Rita, once Yuri's done with his business, we should go back to report. Rita? Oh, what was that? Once Yuri's done, we should go back to report to Alexei. Is something the matter? N no it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Just who was that strange person with the sword anyway? Do you think he came to Cave Mock all by himself? There are so many monsters around. Judging by the way he was standing, he's pretty confident in his own abilities. He seemed calm or even like meditative. Well, whatever. He was a strange guy. Yeah, I have no idea what was up with him at all. I can see how a man like that could rise to the top of the Union. It's pretty impressive. I'm just relieved he's the sort of person who's willing to listen. I didn't think he'd give us a chance, considering that he's never met us before. That's what makes the Dawn so great! I told you, right? Man, he's so cool! Do you run his fan club or something? So you've come back, have you? Yuri. What? You two know each other? Yes. We're old friends. You don't say. I see you know Yuri as well. We crossed paths during the assault on the city. Now then, what business did you have? Uh... We came to ask you about a man named Barbos of the Blood Alliance. It looks like he's the one behind the recent string of stolen Blastia cores. I see. 
So Barbos is tied up in your problem as well. You have a problem with him too? We have come to ask that the Union relinquish all ties with the Blood Alliance. Other guilds have begun to follow Barbos' example, abusing Blastia in other areas and disrupting the order of society. If we can count on your assistance, I feel that together we should move to put an end to the Blood Alliance. Barbos? <laughs> He's been testing the limits of my patience lately. Looks like it's time to remind that brute how a proper guild behaves. A clash between the guilds and the Empire was avoided the other day, largely due to your intervention. However, if Barbos is left unattended, the relations between our two states may yet again be torn apart. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. The time for stopping Barbos is now. Since we'll be cooperating with you, I assume we'll be on equal standing with the Empire in this. Yes, sir. <laughs> if that's the case, a united front with the Empire might not be such a bad idea. Then... Yeah. We'll deal with this together. Hey, send the message to Bellius. <laughs> Tell Bellius that Nordopolica's gonna help us. Man, this is serious. I have brought a letter from His Highness, Yoder. A secret note from the Imperial Candidate, huh? Read it aloud. If Don Whitehorse is taken out of the picture, we are willing to overlook the Union's responsibility in the Barbos affair. What? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What? What is this? Looks like you and the young master see things a bit differently. There must be some mistake. Master Yoder would never say such a thing. Show our guest here to his own private suite. Don Whitehorse, please listen to me. This is some sort of trap. Flynn! Why would you... Hang on. If we screw up, it'll only make things worse for Flynn. <gasps> All out war with the Empire! We'll take everything we've got and march on the Imperial capital. Try and make a fool out of me. I'll tear these little messengers limb from limb. Th this is bad. And it looks like he's forgotten all about talking with us. I don't think that Don's in much of a talking mood right now. I have to return to the Empire and find out what's really going on. I said hang on. We should sit still for now and see what happens. I... I suppose you're right.
believe that Yoder would give a letter like that to Flynn. There must be some mistake. We've met His Highness too, and he certainly didn't seem like that kind of person. But you heard the letter! It said to take Don Whitehorse out of the picture! So maybe it was sent by someone who wants to throw a wrench into what Yoder and Flynn are doing. But that's nothing more than a hunch right now. Yeah, you're right. The only thing we know for sure right now is that Flynn is in trouble. Looks like I dropped my wallet somewhere. At a time like this? Maybe it fell out of my pocket at the Don's place. I'm gonna go look. You wait here. Uh, okay. Don't take too long. Alrighty. Now to go see how Flynn's holding up. I was being quiet, but I guess you heard me. So, you've come to have a laugh at me in this sorry state? Yeah, I wanted to see what kind of expression being locked up put on your face. It doesn't hurt to be forced to view things from behind bars every now and then. What the hell you think you were doing, coming here with a letter like that? That was the Red Eyes doing. They attacked after you left. You don't screw up like that. Was it one of your people? Even if it was, the responsibility is mine. I see. If the Red Eyes are involved, then Rago's gotta be behind it all. But how do you know? At the harbor, we saw Rago giving orders to one of their assassins. I hadn't heard about that. Do you know what they're trying to do? Most likely, they want to force a clash between the guilds and the knights. That'd be... bad. You think another one of those false letters went to the knights? Yes, to put them in a fighting mood. If you know that much, then get out there and get the real letters back. I was wondering how long it'd take you to get rid of that damn lock. <laughs> You've got to stay here. What? And be your scapegoat? You're just itching to get rid of me, aren't you? Yuri, if I don't make it back, you'll have to die in my place. Yeah. Taking your friend's place in a jail cell? You lost your mind, son? This coming from an old man who gets rid of his own guards on purpose. Hmm. I had a special favor to ask that rookie knight. You mean Flynn? The rats that plan these sort of stunts usually like to enjoy their handiwork from somewhere nearby. If you knew the letter was fake, why'd you fire everyone up like that? If I didn't make a good show of things, whoever's behind all this wouldn't bother to come watch. Besides, we've got a lot of hotheads around here who'd never let me hear the end of it if I didn't raise hell. So that's where it stands. Of course, if our friend the Knight doesn't show up again, your life is mine. I know. Tell me one thing, though. What made you want to start a guild in the first place? I realized I couldn't protect the things that were important to me playing by the Empire's rules. There have to be some things that were easier to protect when you were on the other side, though. Even in the lower quarter where I'm from, we still had the barrier to protect us. Sure. 
But were you happy with just putting up with all the things you didn't like? Well, I... So if the rules the Empire sets don't suit you, you got two choices. You can do like your friend is and put everything you've got in the change in the system. Or you can turn your back on the Empire and live by the rules you set for yourself. That's pretty clear cut. Yep. I think you're going to have to take responsibility for letting my prisoner go. You want me to do something besides rotting in this cell? The sap who's been putting together this little show has got to be somewhere in this city. Oh, I've been planning on asking your armor-wearing friend to hunt him down for me, but... So what? You want me to find him? Your job is to pay this debt back to me. How you go about it is up to you. That young lady you brought with you is running all over the place helping with the injured folks. You're not the type to be the only one sitting around twiddling its thumbs, right? Estelle. Huh. <laughs> that sounds like her. through. Is he really planning on going to war just to lure those rats out of hiding? We'll teach those Imperial bastards to look down on us! Oh, Yuri! Have you finished healing the injured yet? How did you know that? The Don told me. This is from him, his way of saying thanks. But Yuri, things have gotten really bad. Yeah, I noticed. No, that's not what I mean. What else? I saw them! You saw who? The Blood Alliance. Barbos wasn't with them, but... Rita and Repeat are shadowing them right now! Just what the Dawn wanted. Let's catch up with Rita! Yeah. Rita! Yes! Let's go inside. But if Barbos is in there... Then we can't just sit around and watch either, huh? What should we do? Let me give you a tip. Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, is it okay you being here? No, it ain't okay. But the Don asked me to make sure you youngsters don't screw things up. Why don't you guys come with me to a tavern and hear what I got to say? We don't have the time to... Oh, come on! You sound like you think I'm gonna trick you! Well, you have tricked us before! I can handle getting tricked a couple times. But there are limits to my patience, old man. What's with the grim face? I get it. All right. Come now, kids. Show me those pearly whites. All right, this way. Where were you talking with the Don, Yuri? You were gone for a long time. We had a nice little chat through some thick iron bars. Yuri, did you get Flynn out of prison by trading places with him? No, it's nothing like that. Flynn would have been released even if I hadn't gotten involved. What do you mean? The Don planned all along to capture Flynn and use him to find out who's behind this whole mess. So both the Don and Flynn know that there's someone else manipulating things? Yeah. Why do I keep letting myself get caught up in this stuff? Now the Don's making me do his dirty work. What a pain.
Thank you.